Hey guys, Rexbots here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a, a very simple difficulty machine. And uh, it's it's fairly compact. That stuff right there isn't it, but it's uh, all the stuff up here, and then uh, this right here. So it may look a little bit complicated. Let me explain it to you. So it starts right here with a simple redstone block. Um, if you don't know how to make this, then here it is. Just torch here, block, and yeah. Okay. Um, then put a repeater here and a command block that uses slash test for at a open bracket r equals and then the radius of your whatever you're building open close bracket so if so if um you're making a map that is huge then i can make it like you know 6000 or something okay so now you guys can see that there's a player over here so by sending the spawn world that's going to close so test 4 actually uses how many players are nearby Okay, so now it just says there's one player nearby. So whoever else was here must have left. So, anyways, um, the amount of players that are nearby the command block or that are within the radius of this command block, that's how long the output's gonna be. So if I have one player, it's going to message everybody one person playing. Two players gonna message everybody two people playing. Three's gonna message everybody three people playing, and so on and so on. So, so if I keep dash to me. Then you'll see the console actually messages me two people playing. Now, let me explain the left side first, and then I'll go ahead and explain the right side, which is a tad bit more complicated. So you have here all these surfaces, um, circuits. Um, now, if you look up here, there is uh, red wool blocks, and behind every single one of these command blocks is a sticky piston. You can see down there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, sticky pistons all under the red wool blocks, right behind the command blocks. So, if there's one person playing, just that piston's gonna be up. If there's two, just that piston's gonna be up, and so on. So, for my game, I only have six people that are available to play, but you can have four, however many your heart desires. Um, well, I guess until up to 15 or so. Yes, yes it was, Dennis. Okay, so anyways, now right here, I just have, um, sort of a simple redstone block, actually. You guys know that, um, redstone goes through, um, any solid block. So, with each block that goes up, there's a shorter pulse. So, for this one, there's going to be 8, uh, 6, no, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and that's just supposed to symbolize 0, but this circuit has to go through something. So, there's a 2, um, uh, 8 tick longer delay for each of them, and then here I just added a couple extra ticks, so you can see here that's another 8 ticks, and that's just another 2 ticks. So, um, if I have 6 people playing, then my zombies in zombie days will spawn far faster than if there's only one person playing. Or if you wanted to make it like, um, you know, arrow shoot, or it spawns fireballs, or something like that, whatever you wanted to make it do. Okay, so then um, that just goes around here. I'll show you what this system down here is in a minute. It goes over here, you can make that delay however long you want, it goes to this block, and that just creates the repeating circuit. So you can see here that it's just turning on and off, and on and off, and it's repeating. Now let's go to the other side. This is a bit more complicated. The most compact way I can think of doing this would be making little torch towers. So, for each of the um, ways out, there's um, another uh, pretty much identical thing over here. But instead of command blocks, there's blocks with torches on top of them. So, um, so, so half of them, or some of them go up three, which is three of them, and some of them go up two, which is four of them, right? No, also three. Yes. Okay. So, um, how this works is it just sort of sorted out and it uses a pulse shortener. Pulse shortener looks like this. I'm going to come over here so you can see a little better. Um, it's just like a little staircase down with a block here, a repeater with three ticks there, and a redstone torch over here. So, that's a pulse shortener, and if you can see, there's just a ton of them here for every single input, all six of them. And they all come out to this one point right here, where they're released out to here, and this right here creates three different pulses. So, if I were to adjust this, then instead of it sending a really, really long pulse, it's just going to send a one tick pulse. So, you can see that it shoots multiple pulses out. Then what happens is it comes down here to a reverser onto this piston. Now, if this piston is, is, if this block is being powered, although this right here is not giving power, the piston will still stay up. That's why this gives three different pulses, 
to make sure that it um it's at some given point in time the um piston will stay up. So if you have a longer circuit than this, you might want to add more of these. Okay. Um well other than that, all I have to do is just hook it up to here. And when I'm ready for my enemies to spawn, then this piston just pushes the block out of the way. Actually, I don't think I have to move that. Yeah, I will. Um, this piston just pushes the block out of the way. And, um, yeah. And that's how it works. Alright, well, that's my difficulty system. And, um, hope I didn't just fry your brain out. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Whoops, wonky. Uh, oh, this one.